Good morning, students. I hope you all are fit and fine at your home. I am your English teacher of class nursery. Now, students, you can see here's the board in which it's written alphabets. These all are alphabets. Okay. Now, today we are going to learn alphabets from A to M. This is already has been taught in the class. So, let's. Take a quick view in this. A. All the students, please repeat with me. Say A. A for apple. Now B. B for ball. B. B for ball. C. C for cat. D. D for duck. This is E. E for egg. Now, students, you are saying with me or not? Again, say F, F for fish, G, G for grapes, H, H for hut, I, I for ice cream, J, J for jug, K, K for kite, L, L for lamb, and M, M for mango. So all the students, you have repeat with me again. A, A for apple. B, B for ball. C, C for cat. D, D for duck. E, E for egg. F, F for fish. G, G for grapes. H, H for hut. I, I for ice cream. J, J for jug, K, K for kite, L, L for lamp, and M, M for mango. So the students, before we have learned A to M, now I am going to learn how to write the alphabets. Okay? First we have to write M. For M, I am going to draw. One standing line, then slanting line, and then again standing line. This makes capital A. What makes capital A? Now after A, what's the O? O means half curve from left side and half curve from right side. This makes O. Okay. After the word comes T. For many T, you have to draw a standing line and then half curve. This makes P. L O P. Now it's a Q. For many Q, you have to first make O like this and one small. Slanting line like this. Okay? Okay, students. I can see S O P Q. It's four letters and next one is R. One standing line, then a big curved line, and then small slanting line. This makes capital R. Okay? After R comes S. So making S, we have to draw small curve from right side and again from left side. This makes S. Okay? See, like this. 